Let's see. So what do you do? We can't. We can do salvo, but I want to wait on that one. So let's just do. Let's do railgun. I haven't done a railgun run in like, God, like a dozen runs or something like that. It's been a while. Uh, yes. Let's see, do we want Halo? Oh, hey, we have Bastion. We're pretty close to C4 on a stick then. Uh, let's see, let's grab Reflect. It's it's chunky. It's a weird build. Uh, let's see, we gotta go, we gotta go down targeting, homing strike. I don't generally go Fuselade with this sucker, but I do go, uh... I do go Convergence, because we need that one extra fire. Uh, that one extra shot. Because the alternative is... The alternative is kind of awkward. Uh, let's see, Guidance? No, we'll grab Magnitude. Yeah, we need that- we need Warp Strike, man. I miss- I miss my Warp Strike. It makes me sad. Oh, I forgot to turn on Elite Enemies. No, I needed that extra score. Not that badly, but it would have been- it is nice. Well, either way, we're actually getting pretty close to C4 on a stick at the very least. Let's grab Calibrate. Because, yeah, C4 on a stick runs are just fun. They're rough and incredibly dangerous, but, like, there's just something joyful about them. See, I've got some rerolls, actually. Uh, there's Convergence. There we go. Yeah, what Convergence does is it actually gets it so I have one accurate shot and then extra ones that just kind of go off in whatever direction. Okay, so now let's just max damage and then probably go defensive. Some movement speed, too. Absolutely necessary. I don't think I want to do charge shot here. I could do burst shot. That might not be a terrible idea. Warp strike is best strike. Salvo and split shot. Yeah. No, there's, there's some really fun, fun builds you can do with things. Unfortunately, my warp strike is locked because I had to start over. Uh, because I'm on my laptop and this game does not have Steam, uh... Steam Cloud support, apparently. It's not that big of a deal, but still. Let's see. Charge shot with Calibrate only affects the first shot, so it won't apply to subsequent missiles. False! It actually is a drop-off thing. Uh, it's a pretty quick drop-off, but it is a drop-off thing. Uh, so it it usually affects about the first 10 missiles or so, and then after that it's back to regular. But even then, like, there's also no reason why not to get, uh... There's no reason to why not to get uh, charge shot and calibrate on, on missiles, because those baseline are always going to be helpful. You know, it's a bit of a risk to get, like, charge shot on, say, railgun, because you can't rapid fire as fast. And so you have to kind of weigh that option. Calibrate's always useful. And, like, you know, trying to do a calibrate run with flak, for example, is just da downright dangerous. But with, uh... But with, uh... With Salvo, you're not firing very often, so it's like... You might as well capitalize on that extra damage. Uh, even if it's only for one missile. Yep, it died. Because, uh, why not? Uh, let's see. Incendiary Strike? Yeah, we might as well get Incendiary Strike. I could probably increase the fire damage. My Gibbs. 
My Gibbs, don't you dare steal my Gibbs. I feel like they're not as affected by gravity. Well, well, I need some thrust. Bad. Uh, improved thrusters. It's about time that we go this direction anyway. Because, yeah, this, this guy is a goddamn land boat. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay. Do I not have flash shielding? Because if I don't, I should get it real quick. Yeah, at this point, one of the problems I have with railguns is I tend to... They... It syncs really well with a whole bunch of, um... It syncs really well with a whole bunch of, like, damage dealing upgrades. Which makes it kind of dangerous. Uh, it's just a good shield durability for the time being. But I gotta get... I gotta get me some shield, uh... Shield cooldown. Well, don't wanna be here. Don't wanna be here with you. You jerks. You shooty jerks. Well, I mean, I guess that guy just drops... Landmines left and right, but still. The rainbow effect is consistently pretty in this game. I kind of wish that there was actually a super mod that just turned on rainbow mode permanently. Like, maybe it doesn't do anything, uh... You know, gameplay effect-wise. But... Cosmetically? Okay, there's flash shielding. Yeah, we gotta go for it. We're... I don't know. I like I like flash shielding a lot. And actually, we've got a decent chunk of shield durability here. Okay, so... I'm still pretty damn slow. Let's actually grab uh, stability. Ah, ah. Let's see. I'm never quite sure how to feel about stability, to be totally honest. Like, on one hand... It's awesome. The idea of immediately being able to stop. He is going to bucket shot me right into that. Uh, no. I thought he was actually going to come my direction. I mean, I guess he was, just really slowly. Which is, I guess, all that matters. Okay, yeah, we're good. I still feel like Railgun is, weirdly enough, one of the weakest weapons in this game. I don't know if it's just, like, the low damage potential, or it's just the fact that, like, you can't get all the projectiles in line to really hit your enemies. It's decent for clearing, but I, I don't know. I guess at least until you get Warp Strike. Then it gets good. Uh, let's see. And I'm gonna get Streamlined. This is the one guy that absolutely needs it. Even if I'm gonna get knocked around more as a result, we gotta be smaller. Otherwise, I'm just gonna consistently be a target. Because I'm, I'm just too big. I got too much junk in this trunk. That's a problem. Okay, so what do we grab? I wanted power reserves. Uh, let's see, we've already got Streamline. Probably... Go. Deadly Wake would be okay. Okay, so now that I've got power reserves, I could get charge shot. We might want it, uh, but we gotta get emergency systems. Always. Oh boy. 
I took some of the bad damage there. I did not realize how much I, just how much I had taken. And we end up spending a, uh, we end up taking a decent chunk of damage. Let's not be there. Uh, sort of. I don't know. I will admit I do spend an amount of time in this game orienting myself based on, oh, hull strength. I never put a point in hull strength. I guess not. Oh no. But yeah, I, I will admit, it's a little harder for me to tell where I'm meant to go. Uh, when I'm rolling this ship specifically. Did I get them both? Really? Nope. Because I'm so used to having that, that singular... Um, I, I'm so used to having that... Uh, that line forward to tell exactly where I'm going. So if you notice, I always have to like swing around awkwardly whenever I travel from one side of the map to the next. Yeah, let's grab reflexive shields. The extra durability is nice. And it'll blast a couple of little guys like that. Okay. Not so weak. But still, I feel like wild mods... I... I think wild mods are going to be maybe most advantageous on the railgun, because I think the railgun just needs some more, like, basic upgrades to make it really shine. Ones that don't have as many, like, immediate downgrades. Or downgrades downsides? I don't know. Anyway, I could do Juggernaut, but I don't think we want to. Wait, do I not have rapid fire at this point? Wow. I've apparently been missing out here. I think I bounced into his landmine. Makes me feel foolish. Whoops. Wow. Alright, that worked out in like a kind of weird, shouldn't have worked out at all, all kind of manner, but... Hey, what can you do? Set him on fire, that's what you can do. I think this guy actually might be super susceptible to my current build. Um, I didn't think about it, but... Let's see. I don't know if I'm setting all parts on fire with that actual... That, that little extra shrapnel damage. I think I am. Okay. I'm doing alright. Oh, you know what? I know I'm appreciating the extra fire rate from this, but at this point we should probably grab Splinter Shot. We're gonna need it. A lot of these enemies are gonna start getting tough enough that they don't die in one hit. I love the fact that this boss specifically can be destroyed in chunks. I really wish that ring boss... Wait, I think he just tried to laser me. Um... Okay, we could do the extra burn. Let's grab absorption, just for survive survivability's sake. Let's see. Oop. I might actually be too fast here to some degree. Which is mucking me up a little. Yeah, I could get in there, but I don't think that would be particularly sane. I'm just gonna shoot it. I just wish it wouldn't black hole like that. Can you quit it with all the black holes? I'm trying to... I'm trying to get my... Get, no! That was a giant cargo train! Oh. Okay, so it didn't eat all of them. Well, small mercy, I guess. Man, there's nothing as heartbreaking as seeing, you know, the- Oh god, that hurts. Yeah, on the topic of lasers melting you, bo boss upgrade or no. Owie. There we go. Well, at least he himself is worth quite a lot there. I didn't realize you were streaming tonight. I was not going to miss the launch of Nova Drift. I 
probably should be in bed and prepping for the convention, but I like this game too much. Okay, so we could do Warpath. Warpath is just about as good as Splinter Shot and is going to provide similar benefits, so worth it. Oh man, once we get Warp Strike, this is all going to get so beautiful. It will be truly amazing. Simply amazing. Oh, let's see. High explosive. Okay. Well, we're doing all right. I I was I was bad mouthing this gun, but like, all things considered, it's not doing half bad. Like, what is my damage? Oh, my damage is 300 per shot. Add in the burn. So, assuming I hit an enemy once, it takes about 600 damage. It's just a matter of, like... Some of these enemies are kind of beefy. I think I might turn on damage numbers at some point. We could turn on siege weaponry, but I think that would be hilariously stupid. Do we go rupture? Yeah, I'll, I'll grab rupture here. One of this weapon's biggest downfalls is truly large groups of enemies. Just because it can only clear so many of them at a time. Eh, maybe? No, I'd actually say that's almost the reverse. It's pretty good at clearing groups. Oh, there's many. Shoot. Bleh. Oh, that was really lucky. I swear the bosses are designed very sp bosses. The enemies in this game are very specifically designed to just show up and punch you out of the level. It, or into all of the enemies. Like, there is, there is straight up some, like, pool levels of, of collisions going on. I'm not a cue ball, damn it! I still have all my hair. It was okay. So to go back to, I was, I'm kind of, I already have some stories about like what I'm up to with this convention. Uh, I don't really want to talk about what games I'm looking forward to because like my list is, well, honestly, that sort of thing is best left for when I'm actually there. Uh, but very specifically, so, I hate flying. I don't mind the act of flying itself. It scares me a little just because, like, you know, obviously there's only so much you can do uh, on a plane if anything goes wrong. And so it's always just a little bit like, eh. uh, but, like, not a big deal. Let's see, what do we grab? We should make this worth it. Agility screws me over pretty bad. I don't want barrier. Let's grab Volatile Shields. Extra shield durability is always nice. Where am I pointed? Oh, God. Well, that's a, that's a bad start. At least this is, like, the best ship to deal with this guy. Okay. Okay. Might not be the best ship. Oh. Okay, that got dicey. This continues to be dicey. Okay, uh, let's see. It's hard to have a consistent train of thought while dying is happening. Well, it's not exactly dying. I'm actually doing all right. Okay, anyway, so flying just kind of is is sucky because like it's uncomfortable. It's cramped. It's small. I've had fat people sleep on me. I've had I've been sandwiched between two particularly burly dudes. That was uh, the flight back from uh, from Portland uh, to Kansas when I was doing house hunting, which wasn't actually so bad in the end, but it was um, it was uncomfortable. Uh, I unrepentantly just watched like 
I guess as much anime as I could, but I- it wasn't even anime, it's uh... It's French, I was watching Radiant. Which is kind of a disappointing anime, honestly. The manga is just so considerably better because no filler. Why do you start your anime with filler? I don't get it. Uh, anywho. So... Flying is kind of a mixed bag for me. I try and make it like a big positive, but uh, sometimes- Oh boy! Cannot get hit like that for a little while. Okay. Luckily, I can more or less just shoot out his his little hits. It's just, uh, he himself is spooky. Uh... Because I don't, I don't do very good single target damage. And I have some amount of trouble hitting this guy. Okay. So... Today, flight like no other. Oh, right! The other thing, the main reason why I hate flying, to be totally honest with you, uh, I actually hate travel in general for this reason. Owie. Is, uh, yeah, emergency systems is saving my, my butt seven ways to Tuesday here. Okay. I need Tempest Break on this. That'd make a difference. Uh, let's see. Grab force armor, hull damage resistance? Yeah. There's pretty much no downside to f force armor that I, I know of. Which is kind of nice. Anyway, uh, so one of my biggest fears in travel is actually missing flights. I've never had it happen before. Though I've had it... I've had it get close a couple of times in the past. Can you give me, like, a bit of a cooldown period game? Please, thanks. I just fought a tough boss, and it's like, more enemies, and I'm like, no. Anyway, um, so yeah, I really don't want to miss flights, because, you know, that'd be bad. And I don't know if I'd have to, like, buy new tickets. I don't know, you know, if I'd more or less have to, like, sit around, redo my schedule. I already, like, hate the, uh, the time loss of going to an airport. So it's, it's definitely, like, a mixed bag of, like, uh... You know, I... Paranoia and... Paranoia and, like... Stress and a bunch of other things. And, you know, for the most part... It's... I've never had a bad experience flying. I almost missed a flight once because... Uh... I was in high school. We were in a, uh... I was in debate club, which is pretty fun. And one of the guys had been accused of... Of doing not... Uh, not kosher things at the dance and I think it was ultimately exonerated I don't know if it was actually true or not it didn't strike the strike me as the kind of guy that would be anything other than just kind of creepy uh, but you know he didn't strike me as the kind of guy that would like feel a girl up on the dance floor that well you know didn't strike me as the kind of guy that would just like randomly do that but then then again who knows uh People are capable of anything, technically. Oh, this kind of sucks. Ow. Shields took a bit of a beating there. Anyway, uh, let's see. So, we effectively were hold held up by at the hotel. The whole group. Even though it was just this guy that, you know, obviously was under investigation. But the whole group had to wait for him. Which is kind of frustrating because our flight was at, you know, 3 and we were there. I think we left the hotel at 2.30. And we more or less arrived at the Washington, D.C. airport. And had to, like, immediately sprint through security. Luckily, I guess, like, they somehow were made aware of our situation. And we're pretty chill about it and more or less like rushed us through but there was that there was that feeling of just like oh god you know how are we getting home i've got school tomorrow um you know i don't want to deal with that oh did i unplug my i did unplug my phone whatever i probably have enough charge for tonight uh, let's see we could do burst fire but i don't know if i want to do burst fire we could do candescence for extra burn damage Juggernaut might not be a bad idea. 
It would make me bigger. Let's do Concentrated Blast. Much... Unfortunately, I don't think it actually says Blast Radius Modifier, 110%, Size Modifier... B -b 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 yeah, it doesn't actually say how much blast damage I do, unfortunately. I probably should have done Candescence, honestly, but whatever. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so after that, I've always been just a little bit scared of missing a flight. Just because, like, it would be... It would be unfun to be stuck in an airport for however many hours. And it would definitely be unfun if I had to pay for it all. You know, I, I've done long layovers and I'd like to avoid them if, if at all possible. Let's see. So... Uh, so usually what ends up happening is I kind of do the bad thing. And it might almost be the riskiest thing. When it comes to, uh, whoa, I didn't leave that side like I meant to. It didn't, it didn't let me, there was an enemy there. I still wish there were kind of markers that would be like, there's going to be an enemy over here. Oh, sweet Bessie. I think this is how I die. Yeah. I don't think there's any surviving that with the gun I had. Maybe if I had, uh, splinter shot, that would have been fine, but it would have been tough. Um... Hey, we can get blades soon. Okay. Let's see. So we've got elegant construction, which is exactly what I needed. Blade and a couple other things. So I think I can do shotgun on a stick here. Uh... Perfect. That wasn't bad. Decent score for a run like that. Do we have any new modifiers? Elite enemies. Yes. Let's turn that on at this point. I'm score farming because I want to max things out. So I do have Blade. I actually don't like Blade that much uh, currently. I, it's good. It has some potential. But no. We want to go shotgun on a... Uh, C4 on a stick. 